Hi, second graders, it's Miss Scholes. Today, I'm going to read to you one of my most favorite fairy tales from when I was a girl. It is called The Snow Child. It's retold by Freya Littledale and illustrated by Barbara Lavalle. I think this particular fairy tale captured my imagination so much because I grew up in a place with lots and lots of snow. And those of you who know and understand cold winters and what uh, piles and piles of snow is like, you too might make a connection. One of the things I also um, love about this story was that uh, about 10 years ago, I found this novel in the bookstore and read this book. And sure enough, it was the grown-up version of the beloved Russian fairy tale that we're going to read right now. All right, let's begin. Once upon a time in a faraway village, there lived an old man and his wife. They loved one another dearly, but they were unhappy because they had no children. One cold winter day, when the first snow lay deep on the ground, the old couple stood at the window. The children of the village were playing outside. They were building a snowman as big as a giant. When the snowman was finished and the children had gone, the old man turned to his wife. Why don't we go inside, outside and build a snow child, he said. Why not, said his wife. We can make a little girl. So they went out to the garden and set to work. Slowly and carefully they shaped the snow. They made a little body with dainty hands and feet. They rolled a ball of snow and shaped the head. Then they carved the mouth and eyes with a tiny twig. The snow child was as perfect as she could be. Her dress was trimmed with icicles and her hair was made of willow branches covered with frost. The snow child is so beautiful, said the old man. How I wish she were real, sighed his wife. And she bent down and kissed the child's lips. No sooner had she done this than the snow child came to life. Her lips turned pink, warm breath came from her mouth. When she looked at the old couple with the eyes, and, and she looked at the old couple with the eyes of a real child. First, she moved her head, then her arms, then her legs. Look, cried the old man, she's alive. The snow child smiled and then she spoke. I am a child of the snow. I come to you as cold winds blow. Our wish has come true, said the old woman. Yes, said her husband. At last we have a little girl of our own. And he took the snow child in his arms and carried her into the cottage. The old cuppy, couple had never been so happy. The old man told stories, the old woman sang songs, and the snow child danced around the room. That night, the old woman made up a little bed with a warm woolen blanket. Come, she said, it is time to go to sleep. But the snow child shook her head. I cannot sleep here, she said. I must always sleep outside. Oh, you will be too cold, said the old woman. Oh no, the snow child laughed. I can never be too cold. And out she ran into the garden. Every night she slept there on a bed of snow. And every night the old couple looked out of the window to make sure their little girl was safe. The moon and stars shone down upon her and they could see that she smiled as she slept. All was well. During the long cold winter, the snow child played with the village children she showed them how to make many things out of snow. Horses, a carriage, and a beautiful palace. At last, spring came, and the sun warmed the land. Birds returned from far off places, and the buds opened in the garden. The children of the village were glad. They danced and they sang in the sunlight. They called to the snow child, come, come and play with us. So I want you to think about what could possibly be going on now. Mm -hmm. 
the snow child is not playing with the children in the spring sunshine. Hmm. But the snow child would not go. She hid from the sun and sat in the shade of a willow tree or in a dark corner of the cottage. What is wrong? asked the old woman. Are you ill? asked the old man. Nothing is wrong, she answered. I'm fine. Yet the snow child grew sadder and sadder as the days grew warmer. Her lips lost their color and she seemed thin and weak. Then one morning, when the last of the snow had melted, she came to the old couple and kissed them both. I must leave you now, she said. Why, they cried. I am a child of the snow. I must go where it is cold. No, no, they cried. You cannot go. They held her close and a few drops of snow fell to the floor. Quickly, she slipped from their arms and ran out the door. Come back, they called. Come back to us. But the snow child was gone and the old couple wept. They thought they would never see her again. All summer long, children played, birds sang, fl and flowers bloomed around the cottage. But the old woman, old man and his wife could think only of their little girl. Then, the following winter, when the first snow fell, the old couple looked out of the window. There in the garden stood the snow child. They rushed outside and kissed her. The snow child smiled, and then she spoke. I am a child of the snow. I come back to you as the cold winds blow.